Hi guys, while much of the focus on the VIP lane for NHS contracts during the pandemic has been on Baroness Moan, who tried to undo some of that damage by conducting a car crash interview, we must remember that she is the tip of the iceberg. Many more companies and individuals with either direct links or indirect connections to the Conservative Party won lucrative contracts to supply stuff like PPE in 2020. Another example was a special advisor to Liz Truss, who with his wife set up a company with no office and no employees, with just £100 in assets, who two weeks after the foundation of the company were awarded a contract worth £250 million. Marina Perkis here clashed with another guest on the Jeremy Vine show about this. Have a listen. Not forget, she is one of many. So when she says she's a scapegoat, she's not a scapegoat, but she is one of many. That whole VIP lane that was set up, the whole setting up of it is unlawful. But separate I don't issue, have a, I don't have a problem. But my point is, she should face. It was the a crisis. Hang on a second. So what I, should yeah, but hang on a second. Let's be clear. VIP in, lane. in a position of national crisis, you I go, do. Yes, no, James. No, no, no. Let me finish. No, you hang go, on. No, no, you no. Go actually, to no, no, no. Finish. You know, come on. And it's in a position of national crisis, you go to people who have experience, whose business. Yeah, 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 I understand. Dudes. But hang Don't on, let me, let me make my point. Let me make my life. point. I get it. Well, yes, but she had been through the manufacturing process. So here's the point, which I think is really important. In a national crisis, yes. I think it is right and reasonable that you go to people who can help. So, for example, people who made hand sanitizer. We saw people who have never made it before. We saw alcohol companies and all of this sort of thing. And it, but, but the key thing here is there should be decent process above board. People should not be making exceptional profits. But why, why so are this they not, is the point. I, is I that you want people to put yeah. their hands up. To Businesses help. were going to the government who actually did this. It's yes, their sure, livelihood. I agree. And the government was not taking their calls. What we already found out from the COVID inquiry yeah, is actually ministers were too busy dealing with pressure from people yes, in the VIP lane to speak to people who did this for a living. I agree. The, the, the... I don't know who this other person is. He's an idiot. This idea that, well, you know, there's a, there was a crisis and the government were doing the best they could. No, they were not. They were ignoring calls, as Marina Perkis has pointed out here. They were ignoring calls from companies that actually provided PPE. I remember I did a video on it during the pandemic. A company producing PPE said they had reached out to the NHS. They had reached out to the government, asked, what do you want us to do? They didn't receive a response, so they started producing PPE for the USA. They said, we have the machines here, we're, they're working, we're making PPE right at the moment, but we haven't received a call from the, from the government. And people like Michael Gove and others were, of course, listening to T Tory party donors or people con connected to the Conservative Party. A number of cases where people set up a company literally overnight and were handed contracts a few weeks later. Companies that had no history at all, never mind a history of producing stuff. Michelle Moon had a company producing underwear, brass, and she was handed a contract to produce PPE. The, at what stage does this all break down and we realise, look, this is all corruption? People, either direct connections to the Conservative Party or indirect connections to the Conservative Party, were given lucrative contracts. And where is this money now? How can a company, as I pointed out, who had two employees the owner and his wife, who had assets worth a hundred pounds, how is it that they were given a contract of 250 million pounds and nobody has asked for that money back? Rishi Sunak has sort of written off a massive amount of debt related to the pandemic. What's going to happen with that? 250 million pounds. What could be done with that money? Nurses hired. Maybe even a new hospital could be built. Small hospital could be built with that money. It's absolutely ridiculous. And unfortunately, the people who have made lots of money out of this will get off scot-free. There will be a few scapegoats, like Michelle Moan. She'd be held up as an example. But so many others will get away. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.